There's so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Cause there's a possibility that you look at me differently, love. Ever since the first moment I spoke your name, from then on I knew that by you being in my life, things. Ariel, this day is finally here. Today is the day we begin out lives as one and continue to build and nurture the life we have created for one another. The thought of seeing you today brings me such happiness and excitement and I've been waiting for this moment since the first day we met. Hey baby, I'm so happy our day is finally here to celebrate our union with our family and friends. We made it. Honestly, being able to get through this last year means anything is possible for us. Not that I was ever doubting our abilities. I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am for your love, faithfulness, passion, encouragement, honesty, and grace. I still remember like it was yesterday. We were about to finally meet. Before you saw me for the first time, I remember being in a trance, admiring your beauty as you crossed 8th Avenue just before we embraced. We have always said that our first date was the longest date ever in history, but I'm truly glad because that first date has led us to exactly where we are today. You are the man of my dreams and I thank God every day that I get to choose you. Our connection and understanding of each other seems so rare and I cherish our bond and love that has led us to today and continues to grow. I know you are a little nervous about the reception performances, but baby, remember this is our day. I got you and we are celebrating our love, so have fun. And close, you have some items you can use now and something for later. See you soon, my love. I can't wait till we jump the broom. Love always, Ariel. Anyone that knows you is extremely lucky to have you in their life. With your glowing smile and charismatic personality, and I always think, how did I get so lucky to get the chance to spend the rest of my life with you and get to call you my way? Ariel, I love you so much and can't wait to see you later in this evening. Let's knock this day out of the park, baby. Love, Ryan.
was 16, you know what I mean? Finally had a, a real blood uncle in my life, finally, you know what I mean? So it was a big moment for me, and he just brought me in with open arms, you feel me? Took me to the mall, the got toaster. me fresh, you know what I mean? Why ain't got this fun? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I forget that, so I just appreciate that. just made me, feel me? Welcome to the family, you know what I mean? I love you, man. I love you too, man. Uh, Probably. And you set the standard, you know what I mean? Because honestly, I never thought I'd get married, and now being here, you know what I mean? I never thought I would either. I might be <laughs> one step closer. <laughs> Just one minute. No rush, no rush. Right. Oh, man. That's yeah. Cool. Cool. That's way more for Hold on, when you talk, though, can you talk right. like, into this little microphone right here? Okay. Sure. Just so that the video catches it. I've never been crazy. Man. I've never been crazy. Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm good? You good, you good. All right. Yeah, man. Met Ryan when I was a youngin'. You know, I barely talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still quiet. I don't say much now, but, yo, he's my uncle. He's a textbook role model. Like, you know, I want to be like you one day, Ryan. <laughs> For real. See, I got a speech later, so, like, huh? No, no, no. We can skip you for now. Okay. So, I guess one of my fondest memories, we was in the Poconos. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. We were painting. It was my mother, his mother, me and him. This dude was always more advanced than me in everything. <laughs> so, we drawing. We had like these like Disney characters. I had, not Disney, it was um, Sesame Street. Okay. I had Elmo, he had Big Bird. His came out like a fucking Picasso. Mine was terrible. So, I remember I got mad. I took his shit and I broke it, right? <laughs> also, little kid tantrum shit. He didn't get mad at me. His mom, his mom, his mom and my mom both got mad at me. I realized at the time, like, yo, no matter what I do, Ryan's always gonna show me love. Even if I'm throwing tantrums, even if I'm all over the place, he's always been a level of, of, of consistency for me. And he's always been above, above all, man. I love you, bro. I love you, bro, bro. You already. Yep. My fond memory of Ryan. <laughs> nah, um, I got another one. Ryan, you remember your pillow, right? Oh my God. Oh my keep going, God. keep going. <laughs> but Ryan used to twist the tag all the time, and I have a fond memory of Ryan. It was, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember we used to play WWE in your living room, and we used to always wrestle, and this motherfucker would fuck us up every single time. He would jump him. He, was, he, was, he, was, he had unnatural strength, you know? I swear to God. Because we, we was always younger. We caught up now, but he used to fuck us up, you know? Ryan the worst, but Ryan used to, have, Ryan used to be fat, so uh, like, uh, back in the day. But Daryl, yo, Daryl used to fuck us up. I remember that. Oh my God. Fat, fat Ryan was my favorite Ryan, by the way. Yeah. I love Fat Ryan, yo. That's my favorite Ryan. You're okay now, but Fat Ryan was... <laughs> Look at like Albert. Yo, I, lo I love you, yo. My bad. I'm, who wants to take it for? I'll get, get somebody to See, I didn't know you was uh, used to be Fat Ryan. So. <laughs> With the cheeks. More than one occasion, too. More than one occasion. One occasion. So, uh, so we go back, way back, and we used to work together at T-Mobile. And um, Ryan was one of the realest dudes. So uh, one of my fondest memories, like, bringing up the Fat Ryan, he was trying to lose weight at the time. And so, like, Ryan, I guess he just, like, does research and looks into things. So he was one day he was just eating salad, just... Plain dry salad with a uh, salad dr with dressing on the side, but what he was doing was he was like, "You got to get the right amount of dressing." So he would dip his fork oh, and then take it oh, and yeah. then eat it. But he, he did that for like two three days. He did it for two three days. He tried, but everybody else was you know at work. Everybody else eating. He started. He's like, "Man, fuck it, man." Yeah, he just gave up, and I guess that was Fat Ryan. But then later on, he lost that weight though. But always, you've been you've been a real guy, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, your heart, bro. Like, I think, and just seeing your friends and family around you, it shows exactly who you are, man. So I'm honored to be here. I'm very proud of you for everything that you're doing. Ari's a beautiful woman, perfect for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? God custom designed her for you, man. And I never seen you like this, so I'm just very proud of you, man. Keep it going, man. We're all proud of you. Well, uh, when I met Ryan, he was, you know, new at work, baby-faced, very serious. So I was like, I don't know. I started talking a little bit. I got to know him. I'm like, this guy is just my type of person. And uh, he's the mad scientist. He's one of the smartest guy I, guys I know. I'm very happy for you. 
and congratulations. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. thanks. Ryan, yeah. you know I remember you since you was a little kid, since you was born. Yeah. And every sun, every summer, you know, your father, God bless, my father, we go travel down to West Virginia to go see their mom, our grandmother, mm -hmm. and yeah. you was like the little brother I never wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, every, every, I, could, I can attest to that. I, could, I, can, I can attest to that. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing without you following me around. Mm -hmm. You was my shadow everywhere I went. You was right there. Even when I tried to go places, you know, like sneak off, he somehow, somehow he managed to find me. I couldn't shake you. I mean, <laughs> but I'm glad you did it though, man. Cause like seeing you now and us keeping in contact mm -hmm. through the years and everything else, man. I'm proud of you for what you're doing right now. It's always love. So I was happy that you even asked me to be a part of this. Jay, yo, definitely, man, for real. No. You already know, man. That was without question. Neff, uh, uh, it's been a long time. Uh, uh, I got stories. No, 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 just a couple of things. Uh, me and Ryan spent a lot of time together when he was very, very, very young. Uh, mom had to work and stuff, and she'd come home. She had to take care of Ryan. I used to take Ryan. I worked also, so me and Ryan used to hang out in front of the television. His favorite show was Nickelodeon. Sitting here all day long, he'd be happy with Nickelodeon. Uh, some fine moments. Uh, we played a lot of basketball in the front yard, basketball court. And one of the things I always loved to do, since they were smaller than me and I would take advantage, <laughs> smack the shit up their shot. <laughs> but and one of the things when yeah, I would smack emphasis, it, it would emphasis, exactly, because it was, it was like I would swing and go, cream sauce, and we go in the middle of the street <laughs> until the day he grew up. I know. Uh, he crossed me over. I was a little bit older. You know. <laughs> Pissed me off. Uh, but I knew he was special. Uh, you know, there was a pool at the house in the backyard, mm. place to hang out and stuff, and it was a summer day. Everybody's like, eating barbecue and everything, and Ryan's sitting on the couch. Why don't you go outside, please? Reading a book. Said, what are you doing? This is War and Peace. Mm. You read War and Peace in the middle of summer. Everybody's outside in the pool. I read this, I get extra credit when I go back to school. Oh and I walked away from him. <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah. He said, I was like, yeah, man. But I guess I was the uncle and stuff that he could always go to and talk to and certain things. And as they grew up, you know, boys and stuff, he realized that they're curious and they'd be talking junk and stuff. So I'm the uncle that would do the unforgivable and, the, the, you know, the person who would ask. So they run around, I gave him his first condom. Right? I, I did, I did. I'll admit. And I, and I, and I, and I told him, I said, you put it in your wallet and keep it safe. They're like 13, 14 years old. I knew nothing was going to happen. But just in case you do get lucky, you got a condom, right? So, Extra small. So, about a year later, about a year later, something might have went on and got real close to something and we might have to use it. But he realized it was in his wallet, right? And so he asked me, Yo, Uncle Keith, you got another condom? I think this was a little dry. <laughs> but the problem of it was, his mother was in the next bedroom and she heard me. I heard us talking. You giving him condoms? Yeah. I said, yeah, I'm giving him condoms. Just in case he gets himself in a situation. I don't care. Look, I'd rather for you to have it and to have it. But I guess you've been using them, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm really glad. You've been working on his pull-out yeah, game. Yeah, my favorite dad. Pull-out roulette, nigga. You've grown, oh you grown up real nice. I love you, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> When I met Ryan, I was pleased when Ira brought him to the house. She said, Dad, it's someone I want you to meet. You know what I mean? She brought him to the house. Ryan come in quiet guy, tiptoeing, you know, trying to impress me, you know. <laughs> I can't be impressed. You know, but he tried to impress me. <laughs> Show me what I'm doing. You know, I just a question, you know, what kind of work do you do, you know? Oh, environmental law, stuff like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was thinking or not, because I come here when the Irving Leagues was in charge, and they're still in charge, you know. And they sent me to a place where no black man, was only, there were only three black men working there. And that place was in Nutley over here, mm -hmm. Hoffman LaRoche. And, and I spent 
43 years at that company. That's pretty good. Now we went through environmental, what you're going through now. In fact, we started that at Hoffman LaRoche. The EPA and all that. That was our boys that did that, which we didn't get credit for. So, likewise, you know, from which you come. But I met him, I said, well, I just have to watch him and see. I was just because I love my daughter. And I said, I want her to uh, try to be attracted to a man that I, would, I think I would like. And she said, no, Dad, he's just like you. I said, I'll see. And it proved the point that she got the man. And he's here today, Ryan. Thank you. So many stories, <laughs> yo. I'm like the cousin everybody thought used to get in trouble with everybody, you know? Ryan, yo, like, yeah, I've been a lot of, I've ended up in places and came outside and the sun was up with Ryan, yo. I was like, what are we doing, yo? I've been with Ryan and after hour spots and we're the only people with bow shoes on and our shirts tucked in, yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah, yo, like in the middle of North, like, what are we doing, yo? Yeah, like, yo, Ryan always been a good cousin to me. He's the one that listened to everything we were supposed to do, crossed all the seas, dotted all his eyes. And he always come, yo. You need him, you come, yo. That's why we all here, yo. I uh, man, I love you. You already know. I'm going to be quiet for the rest of the day. <laughs> but later? Yeah, later. Later. Wear it up, yo. I love you, yo. Wear it up, yo. You're not going to give him the leg, the weak legs, and I can't breathe, but... We'll say that for another video. <laughs> uh, things though, I mean, but like. How much time like, you spend on the fireplace? Oh man! Hours. Cause you get bad. Cause we used to whoop on your behind. We used to whoop on his behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, yeah, me and Ryan go way back. Like yeah. ever right. since I can remember, like the first friend I ever had, you know was Ryan, well, I'm like about seven months older or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like the history that's tied together with our family. Um, being that his older sister and my mom grew up together and were best friends and then with Steven and everything like that. So, you know, it's a, it's a generational, it's a generation thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, from get go, from being in Roselle, going to his crib, playing basketball, cars in trouble. Everybody say I was a little bad behind or whatnot. Definitely was. He, he, doesn't, he, doesn't remember that. he don't remember how bad he was. Uh, I don't. I don't. That. I really don't. Nobody went to babysit I don't. you. Yeah. What happened? Nobody went to babysit you. No, that's how bad you were. Oh, <laughs> man. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but it was good times, though. Good times. You know, fast forward, moving up. Um... Like, I've been around a lot of people. I've been around a lot of people in my life, you know what I'm saying? And out of all the people that I really kick it with, like, he's a stand-up guy. He's about his business, you know, um, always working to improve himself and do better, you know? And that's one of the biggest things that I admire about him, you know, because, like, he's someone that helps you get your stuff together, get your game together, you know what I mean? And like I just, man, there's so many things I else I can say, but um, like I like 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 I, I just love you, man. Like like it's like my brother, bro. Word is bomb, man. Real talk. <laughs>
Beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended of the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men. Therefore, is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. I require and charge you both, as you will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, 
that if either of you know of any impediment which ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise than as God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful. We ask now that you release one another's hands The couple has elected to write their own vows. These vows express a binding promise to love, to honor, and to cherish one another until death do you part. So at this time, we will make way for the bride and groom to share their vows. All right. <clears throat> Ariel, <clears throat> today I join my life to yours, not simply as your husband, but as your friend, your lover, and your biggest supporter. I promise to be your guiding light in the darkness, a warming comfort when you are cold, and a shoulder to lean on when life is too much to bear on your own. I dedicate myself to add to your happiness, success, and vow to protect you from danger to the best of my ability. That danger includes protecting you from all spiders, flies, <laughs> gnats, beetles, pretty much any insect you come across, as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I promise I'll always be your personal alarm clock, whether I'm near or far, no matter how early it is. Thank you. And I promise to try to get you on time to events, because for those who know Ari, you need to give her at least a three hour window to get her somewhere on time. But I'm glad we all made it here today. <laughs> well, well, a little late, a little late, a little late, but yeah. But seriously though, I love you with all my heart. You can give me your bad hair days, the days when you have an attitude, your jam-packed schedule when there's little time to talk and your Starbucks cravings. But just give me your every day and I'll give you my unconditional love and care all the same. There is never a dull moment with your bright personality and yet you still have a calming sense about you that keeps me focused, forward thinking, and confident in myself when I feel I don't have it. You are that motivating light that I needed in my life for encouraging me as you are relentless in pursuit to achieve, which is truly inspiring. I love you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to bed at night. And from this day forward, I vow to make the most of every moment with you. And with this ring I'm about to give you represents my love for you that's forever, eternal, and never ending. Well said, <laughs> Ryan, my baby, my confidant and best friend, in these past four years, I've experienced the most honest and raw forms of love from you through our moments of bliss and miscommunication. As we continue our love story as husband and wife, I'm grateful that we endlessly choose to navigate life together, side by side, merging the experiences of two separate worlds, minds, and perspectives into one. We've complimented each other thus far, and I truly believe our union is divinely created by God. I once told you that during my single years, I made a list of qualities I wanted in a husband, and I prayed that I would receive a man that met them. <laughs> Several months later, we began dating, and our chemistry solidified the love I knew was waiting for me. Our connection felt like home, and it was safe to say that God went above and beyond the checklist I made when mm. you were brought into my life. You are a protector, you inspire and motivate me to be my best self. You're a natural leader, my lover and best friend. As we begin our next phase of life, bonded together as one, I vow to always choose you daily. Through the peaks and valleys of life, I will always prioritize our needs and desires as a union first. I will always support your dreams and pursuits by motivating you to be the best version of yourself. When we are faced with adversity and challenges, I vow to fight for us, our growth in love and remaining committed to you and seeking resolutions. Through the challenges and best of times that life may bring, I look forward to our lifelong journey as husband and wife. I love you always. Mm. I look forward to it too, baby. I look forward to it too. <laughs> I love that. The couple has chosen to solidify their vows via a few ceremonies, one being the African ceremony of the tasting of the elements, 
followed by the lighting of the unity candle. We'll then have the blessing of the rings. And then we'll get to the good part where we can pronounce you man and wife and you can kiss your bride. <laughs> Beginning with the tasting of the elements, we have here the sour, the bitter, the spicy, and then the sweet. We'll begin first with the sour. We're going to have you feed it to one another. Oh, OK. I think, which one is this? Uh, this one is, right? OK. I was already. I was ready. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to like this. I want you to do both at the same time. OK. Oh, you're not going to. Oh, let me do a little bit. The sour represents the sour times that you both will face and that you will overcome together. Next is the bitter, which represents the times of jealousy, of bitterness that you will face and overcome together. <laughs> Next is the spicy. They said a little, but I say a lot. This represents the spice, the heat, and the passion that you both will have for one another until death do you part. <laughs> and then finally, we save the best for last, the sweet. We know that you will have plenty of sweets, your wedding cake, but this represents the sweet times times that you both will cherish, the love that you both share, how it is sweet indeed. The Bible tells us in Psalm 133, behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. So at this time, we will have Ryan and Ariel come together and light the unity candle. And now for the blessing of the rings. The blessing of the rings, the circle, the emblem of eternity, and gold, the type of what is least tarnished and most enduring. It is to show how lasting, how long lasting and imperishable the faith now mutually pledged. For diamonds are formed under pressure. As a union now formed is to be sundered only by death, it becomes that you to consider the duties you solemnly assume. If these be remembered and faithfully discharged, they will add to the happiness of this life lightening it by dividing its inevitable sorrows and heightening by doubling all its blessedness. But if these obligations be neglected and violated, you cannot escape the keenest misery as well as the darkest guilt. It is the duty of both to delight each other in the society of the other, to remember that in the interest 
and in reputation as in affection. They are to be henceforth one and undivided, to preserve an unavoidable fidelity, and to see to it that what God has joined thus together, man never puts asunder. Now for the good part. Ariel, will thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as ye both shall live. I do. And Ryan, without have this woman to thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will thou love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live. I do. Ariel, place the ring on Ryan's left hand. And repeat after me. I, Ariel. I, Ariel. Take thee, Ryan. Take thee, Ryan. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. <coughs> according to God's holy ordinance and there too and there too I give thee I give thee my trough my trough Ryan please place the ring on Ariel's left hand repeat after me I Ryan I Ryan take thee Ariel take thee Ariel as my wedded wife as my wedded wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer or for poorer for richer or for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance according to God's holy ordinance and there too and there too I pledge I pledge my love, my love to thee, to thee. <laughs> Having taken these pledges of your affection and vows of fidelity, I do therefore, by the authority of the laws vested in me in the state of New Jersey, sanctioned by divine authority, I pronounce you, Ariel and Ryan, husband and wife, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. You may now kiss your bride. Yeah. Where therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. To my Hollywood shows And I want to tell you something That you probably should know This that slumdog millionaire Bollywood flow And uh 
My real friends never hearing from me. Fake friends write the wrong answers on the mirror for me. That's why I pick and choose. I don't get you confused. I got a small circle. I'm not with different crews. We walk the same path, but got on different shoes. Live in the same building, but we got different views. I got a couple cars I never get to use. Don't like my women single. I like my chicks in twos. And these days, all the girls is down the road. I hit the strip club and all them bitches find a pole. Plus, I've been sipping, so this shit is moving kind of slow. Just tell my girl to tell a friend that it's time to go. Now tell me how you love me. You know you at the top and all the heavens right above it. We own. It's your money. the fresh train yes i'm in the building you just on the list of guest names and all of my riders do not give up x games guns turn you boys into into, into sex change and i smoke till i got chest pains and you niggas know i rep my game like jesse all right at this time we are ready to bring out the bridal party we are going to go ahead and introduce the groom's parents okay that is june powell escorted by the groom's uncle keith williams Nice round of applause for them. At this time, we're going to bring out the bride's parents, Arthur and Cheryl Miles. Good energy. I like them. I feel like Okay. Show us what you got. Okay. Let's give them a big round of applause. So I need to know who's running things tonight. Is it the ladies? Or is it the fellas? Uh-oh. All right, at this time, let's bring out our groomsmen. Let's bring see them what out, they got. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell let's when the rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out, hey. Bring them out, bring them out, yeah. Bring them out, bring them out, hey. Bring bring em out. Bring em out. Hey. Okay, fellas, this is your time to shine. Let's show us what you got. Nightlife, house, right here, that green. Most of the feds in the state want to see by me. The whole city got pissed, heard he got three. That other rapper got a hip, but shout it, he not out. Who said the city on fire as soon as he got free? The kid back now. Rawls don't even know how to act now. Hit the club, strippers getting naked before I sat down. Still ball and money stacked out of the shack now. Turn up, turn up. On the back down. I'm on the floor. Energy, I like that. Down Mississippi to Philly, Albuquerque to Chat Town. Bring them out, bring them out. But I did hear that the ladies were looking real sexy tonight. Let's introduce those bridesmaids. Let's hear it. Okay, ladies. Every fly, oh my, it's a little bit scary. Boys want to marry. Look in the mirror. Love you, real sexy. I like it. I'm a fairy. Pretty as a picture. Sweeter than a swisher. Mad because I'm cuter than the girl that's a kid. Let's for the ladies. Yeah, talk about it, baby. You can see it. But if you want, I'll be happy to agree. At this time, I need everyone on their feet. If you can, you can make your way down here. We need everybody's attention to the door. I need a lot of energy, okay? Because at this time, we're introducing for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Powell. Feel free to come down, make your way, let's show them our love. Let's show them 
that. We'll get back to that later. We're gonna get back to that later. I love the energy. Afraid I don't know how Cause there's a possibility That you look at me differently Love Ever since the first moment I spoke your name From then on I knew That by you being in my life Things were destined to change Cause love Let's give them a big round of applause. Love, those who have faith in you sometimes go astray. Love, through all the ups and downs, the joy and hurts. Love, for better or worse, I still will choose you first. Oh, oh, oh. Many days I've looked for you, wanting you Hoping for the chance to get to know you Longing for your kiss Let's show them some love Let's show them some love Many nights I've cried from the things you do Felt like I could die from the thought of losing you I know that you're real With no doubts, no fears, and no questions
the food, the decorations, the hospitality. Ari and Ryan, my son and daughter-in-law, I give it to you guys. I tell you, I'm so surprised and so happy for you. It's a long time coming. Lord knows it was, but I'm so happy. What a beautiful day. Guys, enjoy the food.
What's going on, everybody? Um, my name is James Smith, if, you, if we haven't been acquainted. And um, Ryan, man, this is my brother here, man, y'all. Like, we have a long history. And um, day one, yeah, day one, since in Pampers. Like, like, as long as I can remember, he was always there. You know, um, friends, but then we're like brothers, man. Like when I tell you, out of all the people that I have in my life and dropped, he's been there. Like he's truly my day one, y'all. Like seven months apart, you know, our relationship pretty much started like when his older sister and my mom met. Like, it's been generations, like second generation now. And um, I'm just very happy for you, man. Like, oh, I have much more that I want to say, but I feel like I'm getting ready to tear up. Um, uh, but um, yeah, like, since we was kids, taking trips to McDonald's with his father, getting chicken nuggets, Happy Mills, you know, we always was bugging him to, you know, go to McDonald's so we can get the next Happy Meal that will be seen on the commercial. Um, from the days in Roselle, being in his backyard, playing video games, jumping in the pool, you know, having a good time, driving his mom and father crazy. <laughs> yes, definitely was driving them crazy. And I like to fight a lot too, so it was definitely some trouble. But um, yeah, man, like I'm very proud and happy for both of you. And I remember when he met Ari, and um, at first I was kind of, because the last relationship that he was in, girl tried to run me over with her car. So, like, meeting her, she was a breath of fresh air. I'm telling you, like, and she's mad cool. Like, I love Ari to death. For real, for real, so like, there were certain instances that I was going through myself and whatnot, and Ari, she was very supportive, and she held her brother down, and like, I love you both, man. I'm glad both of you met. I'm, I'm glad to be acquainted with you, Ari. Like, I just wish nothing but for the best. Nothing but blessings, much success, wealth, everything. I swear you guys deserve it. For real. Um, ooh, I don't even know if there's too much more I can say. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. I would like to say thank you for being present to witness the union between this couple today. For some of you that may not know, my name is Alexis, the bride's sister and maid of honor. Um, I would like to say I'm extremely blessed and happy to be a part of your journey. Oh, I want to know my But it especially has been a heartwarming experience being your right hand woman to somebody that has been there for me since birth. It was like yesterday that I was raining through your clothes to see what I could wear or me begging you to sleep in your room rather than mine, or even when our parents weren't home and you would cook us breakfast, lunch, or dinner. After a while, though, you made me hate spaghetti because that's all you love to cook and eat back then. But I love the way you made my eggs ever since because everyone doesn't season their eggs. And I'm pretty sure you had rather much wanted to sleep alone, but you always made room for me. And I know you probably were upset that I borrowed your clothes every now and then, but you still gave me outfits to wear. Our, you have such a loving and kind soul. You will brighten up any room you step in, and you will put a smile on any face you encounter. You always made a way to make other people happy, and today we're all here for you and Ryan. Your kind and generous heart deserves all the blessings it desires, and of course, Ryan marries you. 
They say in life, your partner is your reflection, and you guys are each other's mirror. Ryan, I know you're going to keep her on track while she keeps you on your toes. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You guys are so similar, yet uniquely different. I wish nothing but the absolute best onto the next chapters in your lives together, and I can't wait to witness it. If everyone would join me, and raising a glass to wishing these newlyweds a beautiful, prosperous, and harmonious future together. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Powell.
that's a good chick. Before it's all over, I'ma meet this chick. Probably treat this chick more better. Cause if you ain't no thugs and ladies go together. Popping my collar partner, who in the spot? Baby, rule in the spot. In the mug, in the watch. Love me. Half of y'all hate me, half y'all love me. The ones that hate me only hate me because they don't trust me. And they say I'm lucky. You think I got time to blow all this dough and do all these shows? On flight in the llama charging white world. Uh oh, another episode. Do I do? To everybody that be living it up, we say. What? Show love with more passion than average And I ain't mad at you. Never leave you alone Cause the song when I'm home Like the song when I'm gone We both grown Both got minds of our own Must be hit it off at first sight Like love don't fit Mini zones Baby lover yo Hate it all Prissy women to women That's overshadowed But you know the ruby Living it up Ain't got all of y'all Giving it up I like little ooh baby How cute are you With a body that rides on sexual I got a stick I ride right next to you Doing donuts and cuts Then I open it up